Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Darren and today I'm going to be showing you how I like to make coffee. Let's go! First of all, thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit that like button if you like what we do here on our channel. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, so what I've got here is my coffee corner. Welcome. This is the first time I've really showed it to anybody that like was on the internet and whatnot. So uh, I'm really happy because I decorated this cabinet myself with little uh, coffee insulator thingies that I've gotten from different coffee houses. We've got some different ways to make coffee over here. We've got some coffee press, pour over, iced pour over, coffee brewer, and then just some different ways to make drinks. Super, super cool. Love it. I absolutely enjoy this uh, area of the apartment. And so we've also got our coffee grinder here. We've got a electric uh, boiler it's got a gooseneck or it's a kettle I should say and <clears throat> obviously coffee mug and if you couldn't read it it says I like my coffee on the dark side <laughs> so big Star Wars fan anyways let's get into how to make this coffee so what you're gonna need for the world champion brewing that I'm going to be doing today. And I'm not saying I'm a world champion, I'm saying this is a recipe that was created by a world champion. So you're gonna need 30 grams of coffee. So today I'm gonna to be using, it's called Elixir. Let's see if we can get that there. And it's by the refinery out of Goshen, Indiana. Uh, it's a really, so it's funny, it tastes like coffee that is aged in whiskey barrels, if I remember correctly. So 30 grams of coffee, make sure you use a little scale, weigh it out. have to be exactly 30 grams you're gonna lose a little bit to the uh, coffee grinder so you know don't be too afraid uh, and today we're gonna be using a AeroPress to make the coffee so um, let's make sure we got enough water in here we don't need to add a little more than that you're gonna need a total of about 300 grams of water, probably. And you might ask yourself, why do you keep saying grams? Well, that's because of how I, how I make coffee. I weigh everything in grams. That way everything is equal. So I'll get this water started since this is super quick. Uh, that might be a little noisy. I apologize if that, that gets too loud. But we're gonna take our paper filter and separate them. So we're gonna leave one of them. So we're gonna do a single paper filter. We're gonna put that in the basket. We're gonna set our AeroPress up so that we're doing a inverted brew, which what that means is we're going to have the plunger facing up and we're gonna have the top where our filter is going to go right here and then what we do once we have everything we just flip it and put it on top of the mug press it out bada bing bada boom all right so let's go ahead and put our coffee into our grinder and what we're going to do then is 
is we're going to set our coffee grinder to a fairly fine setting. That way the, uh, the when the coffee comes out, it's, it's smaller than what you would use for a uh, drip brewer, but it's not as fine as espresso. There's a fine line in between there. So uh, if you want to look up online, there's a couple resources on how to uh, determine what the size of your grind is, but my machine's not that fancy, so it's a little hard to determine. But, all right, so now we're just kind of waiting for the water to brew, but while the water's brewing, let me update you on what's going on in Darren and Becky's world. So, as I'm recording this, we are officially one day away from the wedding guys today is the rehearsal like how did we get here this is crazy uh absolutely amazing so excited we're gonna be uh having the rehearsal at about 5 p.m or 6 p.m tonight Ooh. oh can't, I can't get that wrong uh so really excited becky is uh is gonna be off doing her party thing uh for the rest of today, and then she'll meet uh, me and everyone else at the church. So, uh, really excited for that. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of an update. So, I just got done with work yesterday, and will be uh, off until July fourth, which is kind of nice. So, uh, yeah. So, just be praying for us. All right. Our water is almost ready. Uh, we don't need a, oops, that sweat. It's okay. All right. So we don't need a prep or a, wow, what do you call that? It's a, a wow, brain fart. Tamper. That's what it's called. Man, brain fart. Wedding fart. Mm. All right. So our water is almost ready. We're gonna go ahead and uh, grind our beans now. So this is a little loud. I'm just gonna cut this part out. But uh, here you go. Something to make sure of when you're uh, making a lot of coffee at home, make sure you clean your grinder often because I have to clean my grinder now because it just kind of like uh, got a little hot and uh, made. Let's see if you can see that there. Oh, whoops, just covered it up. Let's see if I can just grab it here. So I made this little thing which is uh, some ground coffee that was just stuck in there uh, and made the thing really hot because it couldn't grind. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this thing. We're gonna go ahead and re-grind re some coffee here in a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got this thing cleaned up, let's try this again. This is why you just have extra coffee on hand because you never know what's gonna happen. All right, so let's throw this in and grind it. And let's see how it turns out this time. Hopefully my grinder is a little more happy now that it's cleaned out. So we got the coffee ground. 
So let's use our handy dandy little uh, funnel thing and pour that in there. Remember this is 30 grams of coffee that is finely ground. And I apologize if there is a noise in the background. I had to do laundry today. So, all right, got the coffee. Now, let's get this water reheated because it's been a little bit since I had to clean everything. Shouldn't take long since it was already boiled. There it goes again. So, what we're gonna do next is we have to wet our paper filter and get all of the uh, fines out of it. Uh, whenever you use a paper filter, there's always some paper fines that can give your coffee a little bit of a papery taste. So you want to make sure and rinse it out and uh, get all of that out. It also preheats the filter so that you have a little less of a thermal difference between your coffee and the filter. Just makes things taste better. So, all right, yep. Our water is almost done here. Give it a second. And that little lever should pop when it is at boiling. Look at that. Good timing. All right. So now that we have our boiling water, what we're going to do is we have our coffee inside the uh, AeroPress and we're going to pour. 100 grams of water in 10 seconds. Try and keep it as even a flow as possible, so about 10 grams every second. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And just there. All right, so you got 100 grams. Now, what we're going to do next is, I forgot to get this out of here, we have our little stirring tool, and we're going to stir the coffee for, or we're going to stir it 20 times. I do 10 one way, 10 the other, just to make sure things are mixed up real good. And this isn't really timed, it's just up to you make sure that you count how many times you do it. I'd say that's pretty good right there. Doesn't take long. Like I said, this, uh, or I guess I didn't say it. This recipe really doesn't take very long to do if you have everything set up and ready to go. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is push down on the arrow press until we get that coffee right up to the top. We're going to take our paper filter, we're going to wet that a little bit, and get all that stuff out of there, just like that, make sure it's nice and centered in the basket, and then we're going to flip it up, and it should stick to the bottom since it's wet, and now that we have our assembly complete, all we have to do, take our coffee mug, which make sure it's clean, and you could preheat it if you want, but I'm not going to. So take and flip our AeroPress up on top, and it should start immediately, kind of like dripping out the bottom. Just go ahead and push down with light pressure till you hear the sound of hissing, which is some of the air that's coming out. Just like that. Perfect. Give it a nice push at the end there. And make sure you're careful because this is hot. Flip it back over. Now we, we should have somewhere around 90 ish grams of coffee in there 
because there's there's some residual water that stays inside of the Pogco coffee. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take our mug and we're going to put 100 to, I'd say anywhere between 150 uh, grams of water into what we just made to kind of dilute it down a little bit. This is just for flavor. Um, it is subjective to how you want it. I like to go with 120 grams of water. That seems to be about the right flavor for most coffees. I went a little over that time, about five grams over, but that's okay. And just like that, you have yourself coffee. So uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. We really appreciate all the support that we've been getting. Um, uh, just as a reminder, we said it in a few videos ago that uh, we are going to be doing a giveaway once we reach 100 subscribers. So make sure you share this video, make sure you share our channel with everybody you know. Um, obviously go and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and if you really like what we do, we do have a Patreon as well, so you can go and support us there. Uh, but all the links to those things will be down in the description as well as the link to the recipe that I just did. So guys, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you. And in our next video, Becky and I will be married. Whoa, crazy. So, all right, have a wonderful day, guys. Love you all. See ya.